people of the verse, hello and welcome to the channel, it's the Eradicator and in this video we will be talking about how to eradicate bunker turrets. Effectively this is one of the main tasks that you have to do if you take some mission in the verse, such as for example the evict illegal occupant missions on Hurston, there are a couple of other missions like the stash mission on Lyria and also if you want to clear your crime stat at some of the security outposts on Hurston, Lyria on Macrotech as well, you are going to have to deal with those turrets that can be very deadly so unfortunately a lot of people have died I have seen that even on, on, on footage one day as I was going to one of the bunkers someone else came also to do the same mission and they died in front of my eyes I thought that it was hilarious and uh, that's why we're going to do this video today so that I can show you how to do it without dying to those turrets now before we move on guys of course I want to talk about this month's exceptional giveaway as I am giving away a lot of things I'm giving away first $150 in RSI gift cards, $50 if you subscribe to this channel and answer to the giveaway question that I'll be asking later, plus a $100 bonus if you are the winner and also you subscribe to my newest channel which is called The Eradicators and it is a new channel that is going to cover anything that is not Star Citizen related, sometimes maybe one or two Star Citizen videos but mostly anything else about gaming, so please click in the description down below it's my latest video there and hit that subscribe button help me out with that channel too it is extremely appreciated also if you're a backer of this channel i'm giving away a c2 hercules with lifetime insurance too that's very important as well counting a lot of your support guy because I have a lot of projects for both this channel and the new channel. I need a new website, for example. I'm going to hire contributors as well. So any support out there is going to be greatly appreciated and will help out a lot. All right, guys. Well, let's talk about those bunkers now, shall we? So as mentioned just a little earlier, those bunkers, those bunker turrets, sorry, can be very deadly, especially if you are not properly equipped. So I think here that the key for taking out those bunker turrets is to first pick the right ship for the job and then pick the right equipment for the job because just picking the right ship doesn't work enough. It is just not good enough. You also need to have decent equipment that is going to offer you enough protection and maybe if you need so enough firepower too. So for example, I've tried doing those uh, with, for example, the Ambulance of Death. You've seen that before, right? Well, the Ambulance of Death is not that effective because unfortunately, well, it has only uh, four guns. Those are gimbal size twos. Those turrets are pretty well armored, unfortunately. So size twos would not really be very effective against those turrets. Plus, on top of that, sometimes, you know, missiles can be very handy. The missiles that are at our disposal in our ships can fire from air to ground, luckily. Right, so uh, taking down those bunker turrets with missiles can also be a very effective strategy, something that you are going to see in this footage as well. Now, those turrets uh, can also take down the missiles, so that's why it is not good enough. You cannot rely solely on the missiles, which is why it is also uh, a good idea to maybe doing some hit and runs. And that's why I'm going to do the following thing here with that particular Vanguard I'm flying here. Yeah, this Vanguard is equipped with FR-76 six shield generators which are very effective because well they offer the third biggest spool of hit points for shield generators so you definitely want to have such tough shield generators that are going to allow you to tank significant amount of damage but on top of that and the reason why I choose the FR 76 is is because they have the fastest regeneration speed it only takes six seconds without being shot at for the shields to regenerate and they regenerate the quickest as well which means that you can get back into the fight as quickly as possible once your shield regenerate and that is the giveaway question by the way guys when you are in a fight what shields do you prefer to use do you prefer to go with the stock shields of your ship or do you have some shield of choice that you prefer to buy at some of the various shops available in the verse please let me know in the comments down below all right well we're about to arrive here at the bunkers and you can see it is quite in the atmosphere it is Hurston does have a thick atmosphere which is why I don't recommend you to fly just any ship it is very important to fly a ship that has also some aerodynamic capabilities which is why when I was flying the ambulance of death the cutlass red that was not a great idea because it doesn't offer a lot of maneuverability because you're going to see later that we are going to have to be flying around those turrets around the bunker we're going to have to do some maneuvers to turn around and then shoot 
at them again if you have a ship that unfortunately doesn't is not equipped with wings then it is not going to be able to turn effectively and it is also going to give those turrets an advantage over you they will be able to shoot at you better they will have more times shooting at you than you shooting at them which is not a situation in which you want to be at all right, but enough with the talk, guys. Now I would like you to see the images speak by themselves. This is footage from yesterday's stream on Twitch. So if also if you're not following me on Twitch, the link is in the description down below. I try to stream at least once a week, hopefully more if I have extra time. And we do a lot of combat. We try to eradicate and do other things in the verse at the same time all together. Sometimes I play with some of you as well. So we have some multi-crew fun. It's usually uh, a lot of good times out there. All right, guys. Well, let's eradicate those turrets now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Star Citizen content. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later. It will be gone, but it's not. Jeez. Uh, there is indeed some interesting... Uh, it's definitely different than what I remember flying here in atmosphere. Let's destroy the turret here. Alright, this one's gone. Target eliminated, or eradicated I should say. That's where I can tell that the Vanguard is a heavy ship, because flying this ship in atmosphere sure isn't easy. Alright, well, there's another turret right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is the turret not locked? I guess it's not working. I'm trying to take it down manually like this. Didn't work. I'm gonna have to make another attack run. I mean, it's fun. I'm sure it's going to be much different with a tank for sure. But already with a Vanguard, it's quite a heavy ship. It is already quite fun. Alright, let's send a missile here. Boom! Target eradicated. The missile did its job. Alright. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.